underside. I imagine the underside of the English language, a garbaged, mottled dream tangle like the reverse side of a tapestry, where each carefully tied thread runs wild in a course of its own, where every color is let loose in a scribbled, shaggy riot of unbeing. The dictionary lists clear words, sounds marked and numbered, described and dated. But one summer I stood in the winter cold of a cave's dark and shone my flashlight up to see a straggle of root dangling from the roof, knowing then how the whole forest above me was anchored in darkness, its grammar rooted in what falls away, my understanding leaping into every word to find it bottomless.